guys, finally I'm launching my first hashtag AMA series and the guest for today's event is Mr. Pavan Kumar. He's a GDE. For those of you who do not know what a GDE is, he's a Google developer expert. So you need to have an expertise knowledge in a particular Google technology and they would give you an, uh, a certified acknowledgement for that, which would be worldwide recognizable. So it's a very long process, which we would be obviously discussing over our video call which would be starting very soon so first launching into that i would just like to tell you what benefits you'll get a very brief um, explanation about it yeah so we will be addressing how we can become a gd what are the perks what are the benefits how does it individual how does it benefit an individual to become a gd and what is the procedure what are the correct resources that you should follow and how to be part of a community which actually helps you to become GD. Okay, so for those of you who do not know anything about GD, let me just give you a very brief example. Suppose I am working in machine learning for a very long time and I have been trying to do something or the other. And what would happen? I would apply as a GD by remaining into a community where most of the GDs actually work or are connected to me. I'll get in touch with them. They'll help me through it. And after that, once that is done, the, I would actually enroll for that and after that there will be a series of interviews that I have to go through and this is not just for students but it's also for professional actually it's it's more for professional the inclination to acceptance of a GD is more for a professional because they need an expertise knowledge in a particular domain and you need to have uh, you need to have a working profile in a Google technology that is that is compulsory so suppose I am working in machine learning, so I need to have a very good knowledge on my on my TensorFlow or maybe on GCP or whatever. I mean, it should be integrated, but I hope you understand what it means. And yeah, that's about it. So let's get let's get to see what exactly the Q and A series is. Thank you. Hi, Pavan. Thank you for joining us today. So everyone. For, finally, I am launching my hashtag AMA series. And for those of you who don't who do not know what exactly this is about please follow the previous video so in this series we'll be discussing about how to become a GDE so before that before launching into everything I'll introduce our first guest here it's Pavan hi Pavan hi Sakshi how are you I'm good okay so those of you who do not know Pavan he's basically a GDE in Flutter He's been working as a senior software engineer at QArt Fashion and he has a YouTube channel which is amazing and it has amazing videos for all techie people and it's uh, it's basically mtech viral so you guys can follow that it's in the description below like any small video. Okay. So first of all congratulations for starting this. And Thank you so uh, much. About me, it's like if you know Flutter, then you might be knowing me. If you don't know about Flutter, then there's a like very huge chance that you might not be knowing me. So basically, I am, as you told everyone, that I am a GT, which is Google Developer Expert. But apart from that, um, I work in a company which is QR Profession, which is in Gurugram or Gurugram. And uh, they are, I mostly work in Flutter only. And uh, then I have a YouTube channel. As you told everyone, like this is Amtec viral. I know the name is a little bit weird, but there's a long story behind it. So now I cannot change it. So it's fine. So that's that's about my channel, and I mostly make videos on Flutter only or anything related to mobile applications because I started with Android, then I shifted to uh, Kotlin, then Flutter, then Dart. So um, if you are interested in any of these technology, then you can. Maybe you can try my channel. Otherwise, they have so many resources now. Yeah. So that's the like short description about me. And a long story. Which I know, which I know. And yeah, yeah. Pavan has been invited to various conferences abroad, and he's been one of the most active guy as far as all the GDs are concerned. And I can say that because I've personally seen it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let's get started with the Q and A session. Sure, sure. Okay, so a very cliched question: What is a GD? So, so um, yeah, GD is basically a program run by Google, yeah. which is Google Developer Expert. 
so um it's it's like a tag which they give you for their for your contribution in the community and it's something which uh, you know you don't expect uh, that you know everyone would be come as you do or something but if you are continuously doing good work for the community using any of the good then uh, to just uh, give you that sort of uh, you know uh, that uh, a tag or something where you people can uh, yeah. you know, identify you that as like you are working on a particular google technology and you are kind of expert of it or maybe you work a lot on it and you yeah. can help people over that particular technology so they provide you with this tag which is called a google developer expert and uh, the only responsibility you have uh, is that you have to contribute to the community you have to help people and yeah. uh, e- even if you are not the gd then also you would be doing that otherwise like there's no sense in becoming a gd so so it's a tag plus like uh, if you are not and also you can contribute to the com- community so yeah so happy to be be a gd but uh, but it's not compulsory to become a gd that's what i think. yeah obviously you can anyway any time help uh, the communities that's true just one small question is it just based on what technologies google offer that you have to work on or is it any yeah. Okay. So, uh, because GD program is uh, by Google. Right. Similarly, if you are working on any of the Microsoft technology, right. then there is something called MVP program. So, okay. um, that is for Microsoft. For Google, there is GD program. So, uh, it's not like you have to work on this particular technology only. Right. But uh, because you are working on that particular technology, like Flutter, hmm. so you can become a GD because Flutter is a Google's product. or android or maybe uh, angular so so okay yeah, so that's it that's that's really interesting also where one is it like there's an age limit or something for this no 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 age limit there's no But age limit actually like they try to pick those people who have a little bit experience in the field of technology okay like they're not uh, very like uh, interested in trying students as a gd because you know they okay. really really little bit uh, difficult to convince people mm. so but i have seen some people, uh, students who are also a gd but okay. for that you know you need to be a really good in that particular field right right oh that's really amazing also uh, where do you apply is there any link or how do you apply um so um so there are two things one is that uh, maybe you can reach to any googler or okay. a gd that uh, okay. you know you are interested in the Uh, becoming a gd for this particular technology okay and uh, they might be knowing that you you are working on it from a long time right so then they can recommend dot you as a gd okay then uh, so the first step basically is that someone has to nominate you for becoming a gd okay so uh, most of the time if someone from google or from so like someone like who is a gd himself yeah. if if he or she is asking you yeah. then uh, you know you have a like a very good impact already on the community so that's why they asking you otherwise um don't run behind it because uh, yeah. if you will apply for it then obviously there are chances that you are doing this to become a gd right which right. should not be the idea actually the agenda of yeah. your uh, work yeah so um but but if you are doing good in the community you feel like you know you are contributing in every way possible and the community also wants to uh, get uh, something from you so then definitely you can reach to any gd for that technology or uh, maybe a googler if you know someone right and uh, so that's the only way you can i mean apply so there is the nomination thing happens in uh, in the first place okay. and then there are interviews and all that Okay so oh there are interviews also after that so yes. how many interviews are there so um first of all you have to be nominated yeah. then uh, they will ask you to uh, prepare a cv uh, so it will okay. be a community kind of cv where you will okay. show that what you have done in past uh, a couple of years or right. probably in few months and uh, then there will be a community interview So mm. first, like uh, now, there are only two steps, not more than that. After you will okay. uh, make that CV, and then uh, they will accept it on the basis of uh, they are uh, like they are, have have some criteria for it, right? So okay. after that, you are selected. Then uh, there will be interviews. Two interviews. First one is the community interview, where um, some other GD, 
around the world will be taking the interview of that like uh, if i am the gd in flutter yeah. then i can take that interview if okay I, uh, like I, if i'll apply for that you know i i yeah. want to do competitive interview yeah, yeah yeah then first round will be with me or any other gd yeah then the second would be the product interview where the person from google okay working on that technology will be taking that interview so okay. after these two parts then only you can become a gd so then they will decide 